Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play FTL. I'm Nye, that's Trance, and we are gonna run with the NG Cruiser. Okay, what, what do you think we should do? Should we run Type A or Type B today? Well... Hmm. Type A relies on the drone to deal damage, Type B does not. Type A looks interesting. Okay. I think I'd like to see that next. Okay, well, let's uh, go ahead and put an NG on oh. weapons and an NG on uh, engines. Throw the human to the cockpit. Activate the ion blast, and we're good to go. Let's, uh, how do I want this? Let's start exploring from the back end first. What are we gonna find? Not gonna, well, no, not gonna buy fuel. Not interested. So, I'm assuming you're gonna need to put something into power. Well, eventually, yeah. Uh, the way this ship works is you shoot, the, like, the ion blast mark two, you just never stop firing. And then when you and then start firing up the uh, anti-ship drone, and that just starts blasting. The only problem oh. with it, I didn't see that you had some spare power. Yeah, uh, most of the ships start with just enough power to do something. But uh, the only problem with this ship is that you can't control the drone at all. The drone just kind of does what it wants. And now you're out of drones, so if this doesn't drop a drone, you're hosed? Or... No, I have 14 drones. This is just... I was looking at this Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm fine. Yeah, the game isn't that mean about starting me up. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> this game is sometimes kind of dicks about it, yeah. But, uh, no, no, no. It's not that bad. Okay, so one thing we're gonna be looking for is we're gonna be looking for... Oh, dude, you could... I'm just venting you. Uh, one of the things we're gonna be looking for is a uh, drone recovery arm. Which says as long as... A drone recovery arm. Uh, it is a... Uh, 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 it's an augment that says that as long as... Um, you guys are just gonna come back here. We're just gonna vent this guy, and if he wants to fight me inside of the uh, med bay, he can. Uh, destroy this end of, uh, destroy this rebel ship and salvage it. So the, what the drone recovery arm says is, as long as the drone that we launched is undamaged, we get it back. Nice. Yeah, it's very helpful. Come on, kill the dude. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it's a very helpful uh, augment, especially for ships like this, because all it basically says is, I have unlimited drones, essentially. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are actually well on our way to getting uh, level two shields, which is basically my, uh, excellent. Level two shields is basically my primary uh, metric that I use to say, d you know, am I doing okay? Where am I for uh, second one? So if I can get to level two uh, shields right off, off the bat here, we're good to go. And it looks like we're going to. We already have, we've already bought it. We just need to scrap to upgrade our reactor. Our anti-ship drone does its work over there. Investigate the station. Didn't get quite enough to get uh, two bars of power on its own, but we are able to take a point out of engines to get us level two shields, uh, which is going to be Worth yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, what are we going to find here? One more level of shields by end game. We got ourselves another one of this type of ship. Uh, hopefully, our drone will think about shooting at its weapons instead of shooting at something else. That is the one thing I do not like about relying on drones. You cannot direct their shots at all. So, for instance, it's shooting at an already destroyed engine as opposed to shooting at the missiles that are killing me. It's trying its best. It's just dumb. Very dumb. That's why you release a squadron of them. Well, I don't quite have that ability yet. Okay, so now we have full level 2 shields and level 2 uh, engines, which is good. So yeah, we are definitely off to a great start. What are we going to find here? Uh, we have found yet another 
auto scout that I don't care about. Basically free loot. Yeah. And I'm basically trying to blast its weapons, but unfortunately I did not take out its missiles, so its missiles are going to deal some damage to me. What I really would like to see is a level 2 anti-ship drone, a Mark II, because uh, they fire a lot faster. That would be helpful. Okay, what do we find here? Forward scout of the Rebel fleet? Okay. Works for me. And uh, our drone does appear to be doing damage to its engines. Which is good. It got a bomb in my, uh, looks like my door control, which is not good. And now it just fired a missile at my door control, also not good. Drone, would you mind shooting at something on their ship that would stop them from jumping, please? So this is what I'm able to do with the Ion Blast Mark II, is I'm able to choose between two targets, and I can keep them both down at the same time. And I'm going to have to do that in order to kill this thing, because my drone will not shoot at anything useful. There we go! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! That was close. Indeed it was. Okay, let's go ahead and repair the stuff. Yeah, my drone, like, the drone would not shoot at anything I needed it to shoot at, so I almost didn't make it. You go here. You go back here. Okay, let's go ahead and jump uh, to this distress beacon. Yeah, that was really close, and it had no reason to be close. Well, this is going to be an easy fight. This thing's going to deal no damage to me. I'm going to break its shields like nothing. Zoltan energy shields are already offline. Its weapons are offline. As are its doors. And we're doing fine. And down goes the ship. Those ships are usually really easy to fight in this thing. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade... Actually, I'm gonna hold on to my, uh... I'm gonna hold on to my scrap until at least the next sector, so I can see kind of what I'm what I'm working with. Oh yeah, because this thing's gonna be hard to fight. So again, looking for a uh, scrap recovery arm, looking for a drone recovery arm, uh, anything along those lines. And that ship's already dead. Probably didn't even need to use my anti-ship drone, but I wanted to guarantee it. We did just pick up a hull beam. Which is pretty nice, for money at least. Oh, no, no, no. On this ship, that's actually useful. Because the Ion Blast oh, Mark yeah. II is going to be taking down its shields. So I Looks might... Looks like you need to invest up in power. Yeah, I might actually think about picking that up. Not quite sure just yet, though. Uh, yeah, it looks like this ship is not going to do any damage to me, just like its predecessors, which is excellent. So I've taken about eight damage for the entire sector. I've done better. I've done a zero damage sector one before. Several times, actually, not just once. But, uh, I'm okay with where we're at now. It's actually a really strong start, having uh, an extra weapon, uh, having plenty of fuel, plenty of drones for now. And then having, of course, level 2 shields right off the bat is helpful. And now we have plenty of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade weapon control a little bit. Uh, it's not going to allow me to get my hull beam online just yet, but it is going to allow me to uh, do it soon. Let's go ahead and fight these guys. They took my engines partially down, which I'm not too happy about, but... I don't think I'm going to be able to stop its... Uh... Yeah, missile firing, so we might take a little bit of damage from that. Yeah, but no big deal. Weapons Master is already leveled up. And I'm glad I put that point into weapons right now, because that missile struck weapons and uh, didn't take down my Ion Blast. Drone control just took a small hit. That's fine, though. Let's go take care of that. Yeah, we got some slight rewards. I'm going to go ahead and put a point into uh, weapon control, so that way I can get my whole beam online, if I so choose. Okay, get 
these guys back to their positions. And okay, we're gonna go ahead and jump back to the exit, and then we'll leave. So pretty strong uh, sector one. Now, what are our options? We can go to NG controlled sector, which gives me a green line almost all the way, or I can go to the uncharted nebula, which gives me some green. Uh, I think we go to the NG controlled sector and uh, have some hope for that crystal crew member at some point. Got a store, but I don't have any scrap right now, so I guess we're gonna skip that. What are we gonna find? Let's attack this ship. Uh, they are gonna teleport now, onto me. How much is the drone recovery arm? 50. Not very expensive at all? No, 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 it's very inexpensive. Okay. Pop up the anti-drone. Took a little bit of damage off of that, but uh, not a noticeable amount by any means. And my NGs are at least holding their own inside of uh, that med bay. And they have teleported off. Let's close these doors. You two go out and actually repair. I'm lucky because I have that NG uh, med bay dispersal thing. I actually can safely send my NG out into a zero oxygen environment without having to worry too much. Let's go ahead and upgrade our power bars, and now, if I so choose, I can now have the whole beam online from the start of the fight. Which I choose that very much. What do we find over here? Two fuel for two, two drone parts. Not particularly interested in that deal right now. I like my fuel. Let's see. Got nothing on this particular jump. How about a stress beacon here? What are we going to find? Give these guys two fuel, and they give me 29 scrap. Done and done. Give me some more power. Very Now, two fuels only worth six scrap, so I definitely that was a good trade. We just got ourselves another anti-ship drone. Very nice. Yep. Now, I can't quite power both at the same time yet, so I got to, uh... We just got ourselves an anti-personnel drone, too. Hot buttered balls. Okay. Those... Nothing at that stress beacon, unfortunately. Uh, let's go to the store. Because at the very least, you can sell excess crap. Uh, right now, all I'm going to do is fix my uh, fix my ship. Not even going to sell the anti-personnel drone? No, I want that. NGs can't fight. We just got ourselves Shoot. another NG. Nice. And a small amount of scrap. And let's go ahead and jump to the Rebel Control Sector. Why not? We are looking for another Ion Weapon. Distress Beacon here. What's this going to have? Let's see. This is... Try to rescue the survivors. Get a crew member. We've got a rock crew member now. Okay. So we do need to start... Uh, Hoping for some fuel now, because I've used a lot of fuel just exploring. So we're gonna look about for that. I've got a fight here with a rebel automated scout. Level three shields, but uh, watch me care. This ship doesn't care about shields at all. Does care about missiles though. Go ahead and uh, hull beam like that. Didn't take its missile launcher down, but got kind of close. Okay, there we go. And now our drone is just taking it to pieces. Ow. Okay, got a lot of crap from that. Go ahead and upgrade drone control and power. So now I can have two anti-ship drones online at once if I need them. Uh, I'm not going to be doing it most likely, but it's an it option. It is a scary prospect. Yeah. I want to have drone recovery arm before I start popping two drones at once. Mm -hmm. Okay, these guys have uh, invisibility. Let's go ahead and pop a drone over there. Ow. You get in here. 
here, fix that. Okay, their shields are still online, unfortunately. But that won't last long. Shields offline. Okay. We are good to go. You get back in there. So they'll go ahead and uh, hide, but I'm not too worried. Might take a little bit of damage from the shots it's about to fire, though. Nope. Excellent. And they're dead. 25 scrap and another 15 scrap and 4 fuel from the station. Excellent. Very solid. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, and save. Yeah, I guess we'll save that. There's potential for upgrades. Let's see, do I want to... Let's, ha let's download the ship's data stores. I actually wanted the fist fight. I was trying to force it. Because I want the scrap this ship will, will provide us. Okay, let's get its engines offline. Or, its uh, shields offline. Damn, missed that whole beam. Its shields were still online when I did it. That's fine, though. I mean, this, this ship's already offline at this point. That's how well this ship works. I mean, this, as long as you get the upgrades on time, the, the NG ship works ridiculously well. Let's go ahead and jump in this direction, jump to the nebula, see what we find here. Uh, another Rebel Scout. Not gonna even bother popping a drone for this one. Because its weapons are now going to be offline. Yeah, that's an easy fight. Yeah, that whole beam was actually a pretty good pickup. The only thing that thing has is an ion blast, but uh, won't do anything to me, and they're gone. Excellent. One missile, one drone part, 27 scrap. I might have to spend the scrap soon just because I have so much of it. I have 107 scrap just kicking around in my coffers. What I do really want is an anti-missile drone. That's something I'd appreciate seeing. It's gonna hit, but only dealt one damage, so I'm not worried about it. That took out my O2. You go ahead and fix that. And you go into his fire. But we're still doing fine. I permanently have the uh, med bay activated and everything, so all of my guys are being healed permanently. To get investigate the station, get myself a heavy laser mark one. Where is this fire? Is it over here? No, it's over here. Okay, well let's just do that. Man, I love this upgrade. Okay, now we have 150 uh, scrap right now. What that actually could... There's still fire somewhere. Nope, now it's done, okay. But that could end up bleeding. Uh, I could get you up to level 3 shields. Yeah. Well, not just level 3... Well, I don't want level 3 shields yet. There's a couple other things I want instead. Um, what that could get me, what I do want that to get me, is uh, potentially cloaking device. That could actually lead into a cloaking device, and that would be a really nice thing for me. With a cloaking device at high level and all your drones, that would be amazing. Yeah. So I'm kind of aiming for one of those. But, you know, drone recovery arm is very high up on my list of, uh, on my list of things I want. Okay. I also want, of course, a crew teleporter. Oh, you gotta find some Manti first. Well, a rock is pretty good for a teleporter. I mean, I know they don't seem that good, but uh, their uh, 1.5 times health helps them beat many fights. Yeah, they can outlast anything else that isn't a Mantis, and they actually are equally matched to a Mantis. Technically, yeah. Okay, 
Okay. Well, this thing is not going to be jumping away anytime soon. You get in here and fix that. And they're gone. I'm taking a little bit of damage for some of these fights, but I'm not too worried about the damage itself. You're getting enough scrap to more than make up for it. Yeah. And I am able to explore just a ton of these beacons, which is helping. Nope, don't want to trade one, one fuel for four missiles. Damn it! Did not think this they would be jumping that far on that jump. Okay, well... Oh, that sucks. Ooh, that one looks dangerous. Yeah. We're gonna be rolling two drones this, this, this fight. Damn, I wasn't able to take their weapons down fast enough. You in there, fix that. You chose an odd angle. I'm surprised you didn't sweep it a little further right to take out the shields as well. I was tr frantically trying to hit uh, hit their uh, weapons first. That was my primary Fair requirement. Enough. Damn. Fair enough. Because we're taking a lot of damage off of that missile. We are about to win, though. Okay, we only get that one bit of scrap from that. That's fine, though. Uh, Zoltan Homeworlds or Civilian Sector? Uh, Zoltan Homeworlds, I'm still holding out hope for the um, Crystal Crew member. Let's go to the store. Show me something nice. Hmm. Well, gain is nice, but so is that anti-ship mark, too. Yeah, and the defense mark, too, too. Um, you fence and anti-ship. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, only getting the anti-ship mark one? Don't have enough for anti-ship mark two. Well, I mean, I do now, but uh, there's some other things for me to do instead. I'm doing it this way because uh, I don't have enough power to fund anti-ship mark two and uh, anti-ship def defense mark two. And defense mark two, I'm not gonna need for a while. Anti-ship mark two, I can use at all times. And you're still keeping your other anti-ship mark one because screw it. More because I can throw it into a fight again. Like I can run two drones at once a little bit easier doing it that way. True. If I want to run anti-ship mark one and defense mark one, for example. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to this quest marker. Please be something nice. Um. Okay. <laughs> I like this one. I'm not sure which what what I'm gonna do. I could use the crew members. So let's do one. And I get a slug. Okay. I needed the crew members more than I needed the reward from uh, that delivery they were running. I just find the notion of beam the cargo aboard and leave them... And leave them to their fate, yeah. I've never done that option before, so... Oh, come on. Damn it. No ships pass through this area on that jump. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. We're doing so well. Yeah. Like, we're doing so well, and... Not want to activate that. Okay, this is a major problem. Mm -hmm. Well, mostly because see that anti ship mark two that they have. Mm -hmm. That thing is a major issue for me because it shoots down incoming blasts, which means my ion blast mark two. It's shooting it down, so I'm unable to take out their shields. And they're charging their FTL right now. Which means I'm having trouble getting through to them. They took out my drone control. 
you get in there, you get in there, fix that real quick. In this scenario, what I would have advised is draining power from your engines to power up your heavy laser. Wouldn't have helped, unfortunately. Uh, looks like they're just gonna run, and I'm not gonna be able to stop them. It can't shoot that them both at once. Back online. Come on, just show me, show me a no shield enemy. Come on, come on. Where'd that bomb land? That bomb landed on my engines, which is fine. That doesn't worry me. Okay, awesome. That's good. I'm actually gonna win, win against this. Excellent. I was looking for that we don't care about. Uh, this needs to be fixed. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna win just fine. Those endless bombs are getting annoying though. And we just beat their guys on their ship. Which wins. Five fuel and 46 scrap for us. Nice. Yeah, that fuel is going to be a lifesaver. Do you get better rewards by killing the crew? Yes, always. Nice. Okay, let's just heal our guys up real quick, and then we can go ahead and jump to the next area. But yeah, you always get better rewards by, by, uh, by killing the enemy crew. Okay, and it looks like I should be able to keep just a couple steps ahead of the enemy. What do we got here? Okay, that sounds good. I can deal with that. Let's go ahead and pop that down. Pop up an anti-ship. Ion Blast Mark II. Okay, I need this to go a little bit faster because they're going to do a lot of damage to me with their weapons. There goes my uh, my weapons in general. Move this point from there, put that into there. They took out my drone. And my engines. Now I have no dodge chance, so I'm gonna be taking damage, and my drone's even further down. You two in here. Get that back online. They're taking damage everywhere. I hate this. this type of fight. Okay, you. Back in there. This drone is fucking you up more than the previous elite. Yeah, it's because I, I I can't do anything to it. I can't get any of my weapons through. Okay, you. Get in there. Fix that. God damn it, I missed the one attack I needed to land. Okay, you two in here, you in here. Okay, we should have it now, eventually. I got, oh crap. That got kind of close. Come on, take their weapons out, for Christ's sake. Thank you. Yeah. Should have been an easy fight, but couldn't land any damage on it. I think we might be losing trance again. You two in there. Power that up. Power that up. Actually, keep that powered down. Still got you, trance. No, I'm still here. Okay, he's still here. Okay. Yep, I'm right here. Crap, 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 crap on a crap cracker. Um...
Alright, let's teleport you two into here. Okay, this is how I'm gonna do this. Wow, I didn't even notice that. You in here, you two into here. Point out of that into that. Doors open. Okay, if I take even one hit from this fight, I'm dead. And they have a missile. Right. And it just fired. It missed. Lost my uh, slug over there. Come on, shoot the weapons. Okay. Lost my slug. If the, if my ship survives cause my, after my because my slug died, I'm gonna have to accept that. Okay, Temporarily gonna take that offline because I think my yes, my rock remover should be able to kill everybody on their ship, which will get us the to killed all members of their ship bonus. Where's their last guy? There he is. Kill him. Tons of fuel and some scrap. Okay, so it was a necessary death, as uh, as un as, uh, as unfortunate as that was. It was necessary that that uh, slug dies so that everybody else may live. Sucks to be He's him. Train slug. Can I can I see a store somewhere around here? Somewhere. God, it's another freaking. Oh come on. My rock remover has not finished healing up yet. Okay, everybody back. Everybody into the miniaturizer. Okay, er open all everything, close those doors, and hope they go to the place I want them to go to. Awesome, looks like they are not gonna go to the door I want them to go to. Now they went to the door I wanted them to go to. Okay, come on, get their weapons offline. Crap, 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 and that's it. That drone. Like that ant that that unmanned bullshit. Okay guys. If it had died, it would have gotten a medal. Yeah. Cause it took my entire ship down by itself. We'll see you guys later. Interviews.